Good day and welcome to Mastering Dropbox. Today I'm going to cover receiving large files. So, I don't know if you've ever had a problem with someone trying to send you a document or a, a, a file that's just too big for, for them to send it to your email. And uh, you really don't have a lot of other solutions once the file is too big to send to your email. So Dropbox is actually really good for that kind of thing. So under the uh, under your Dropbox account, you have an option called File Request. This is the the help page on it, and it basically says File Request allows you to collect and receive files, big or small, from anyone right into your Dropbox. File requests are ideal for receiving large files or collections of files, collecting photos after a special event, and requesting submissions from coworkers and clients. Um, and that's exactly what it's good for. Uh, so if you need to receive uh, a large fall or you need to receive uh, a, a specific specific fall from a bunch of different people, this fall request option is really good. So I'm going to go back to my Dropbox homepage right now. And once you're on your homepage, on the left-hand side, you'll see an option here for fall request. If you click on that, you'll get the option to add uh, a fall request. And you can add multiple here, but we're just going to do one for now. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Request Files. And right here now is what you're requesting. So if you can see the gray, where it's grayed out, if I don't know if you can see it on your screen, but you can type in things like birthday party photos or history assignments. So just say if you're a teacher. You can say history assignment, as they suggested, or anything that you want to want to say. And you can select your folder that you want to use. Or it's going to uh, create one for you. Actually, it's going to go under fault request, but that's fine. So just say, uh, like I was saying, if you're a teacher and you want to receive history assignments, Sometimes those files are too big, like I was saying, and this is this would work great for that. So I went ahead and selected the name history assignment. It's going to put it into the Dropbox file request folder. I'm going to go ahead and click next. And now I have a link. You can copy this link and provide it on your website, or you can go ahead and email it to people. And what happens when they go to this link? Now we have the options, and it says uh, your name is requesting history assignment, so it's what you called it, and it says only I will see these files, and you can go ahead and uh, send the file from your Dropbox, if you have Dropbox, or uh, you can send the file to that person from your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, and I'm going to say uh, this picture is my assignment. So I just went in and attached this, and I'm going to go ahead and upload. The picture is now uploaded. And that's it. I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Now if I look here, I have history assignment. And it says zero submissions because I didn't uh, refresh, but I'll show you now. So that's uh, that's your that's your fall request online. If we refresh, we show that we can go and see that one person submitted. This is great if you have a classroom and you want to like, make sure that all your students submit it. This uh, shows you the total here. If you go under Files, now you have a folder called File Request. If I click on that, double click, sorry. Now I have a folder called History Assignments, which is what I called it. And inside there, I have the file that uh, was sent to me. And if you notice as well, not only is the name of the file there, but my name has been added as well. So the name of the person who sends you the file, as well as the file name. So that's great because not only will you have the assignment uh, uh, in your folder, if your student forgot to put their name on the, in the file name, then they will rename it for them. Now, I'm guessing this only works if the person sending you the file is a Dropbox, uh, has Dropbox themselves. But as you saw, I just dropped right from my uh, desktop. Same thing here on the Dropbox folder. You'll see that they're... Uh, the file request folder has been created, the history assignment, and the file that I uploaded is there on Dropbox as well. So that's one way of doing it. That's You can go in to your Dropbox, go under file request, and you can create a request for someone to send you a file or anyone to, uh, for someone to send you a large file. So 
Works great if you're uh, expecting a specific fall from people. Also works great if you need to receive a large fall. So if uh, you can give out that website address for them to send you that big fall. So like you can have request error and say uh, large, large files, for example. And go next. Copy link done. Oh, sorry. And now I can, anytime that I need to receive large files, I can go ahead and give that website address to uh, someone and they can send me the large file. No more trying to uh, receive files by email and then file being too big and you can't do it and then having to come up with solutions. This is an easy way to do it and most people will be able to figure it out. Now, in saying that, there are some third-party solutions that use Dropbox and I'm going to I think I'm going to create a tutorial of each of these individually so we can uh, walk through them and you can actually see if any of these services are good. However, there are uh, there are services online and I'm sure there's lots more. And if you know one that's better than any of, the, any of these, send me a comment below and let me know. But uh, we have the option here for send to Dropbox. And this is email plus Dropbox is their uh, motto, I guess. And basically, the way that this one works is email attachments will get saved to your Dropbox. Another service here allows you to receive files in your Dropbox easily. Same thing here, drop it to me, securely receive files from anyone into your cloud storage. And the uh, one in cloud storage is Dropbox. So it works with Dropbox, Google Drive, and OneDrive. So this will basically be the same thing. Instead of getting uh, Dropbox's website address that looks like this, you'll probably end up getting a drop it to me website address. But I'm, I'm going to review these anyway wouldn't get the details. This one here is another one. I've actually used this one in the past. Uh, drop, jot forms. You can create a form, have someone fill out the form. Their information as, as well as the attachment gets sent to your Dropbox. And this one here upload to Dropbox and this one does pretty much the same thing as the rest of them. So I have reviewed these. I don't know how good they are. I don't know how secure they are. I'm just uh, letting you know that there are solutions out there that you can uh, have to receive large files into your Dropbox. Obviously, Dropbox itself is a good solution. At least you know how secure it is and you know to trust it because a lot of these will use Dropbox's API to gain access to your Dropbox to be able to send the file. So although it is, uh, it is safe on a lot of these, it's also at the same time kind of iffy because you are given a third-party site access to your Dropbox indirectly of course but it's still access so you want to make sure that uh, the site that you use is safe on this one where this is not uh, my personal account I'll go ahead and uh, sign up to these sites and give them a try and I'll create a video and show you it so at least you have an idea on these sites how good they are so that's it. That's my video for today. I showed you how to receive large files or uh, receive multiple uh, re request multiple request files from multiple people. For example, as you're, if you're a teacher needing to request uh, assignments to be passed in, you can create a one of these uh, requests for every assignment. So if I was a teacher, I would love Dropbox because this would be ideal for me. But uh, I can't speak highly enough. It's great. So that's my video for today. And I'm sorry I'm rambling on. And I know I'm stumbling a bit. I think I've, I don't think I've had enough coffee today or something. But uh, go ahead and comment below if you have any suggestions regarding any other sites that work well with Dropbox for receiving large files or how you guys use Dropbox yourself to receive the files. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm, uh, I have a list of lots of videos I'm planning on releasing, so I'm slowly getting through them and release them over time. So hopefully uh, you subscribe and keep in touch. Have a great day.